Hey everyone, um, it's been a while since I've recorded, um, actually a few months, um, there's been a lot that has changed, um, I think the main thing is, um, my friend, who always, um, was the first one to like my videos, or you know, she passed away from cancer, um, and uh, that that really uh, brought me um, brought me down in a way that not down as far as just very hard because she was a huge support and I had uh, known her for quite a long time and so she was one of my best friends and when you can't have um, a great deal of extreme emotions um, it tends to make you aware of how much you care for someone and you go through all the emotions all over again um, I'm trying to move the phone a little bit because I got new glasses, as you can see. Um, we're trying to figure out if that'll help a little bit on the pain side. Um, my morning uh, has been like a roller coaster because it goes up and down because I miss her. I, I want to text her and I want to call her. and. I know she's not there and it's crazy, you know, because just it's just um, un unbelievable that she's gone. Freaking cancer. I mean, I could use some vulgarity here, but however. I normally don't use it unless I'm angry, and today is not a good day. I am in a bit of pain today, um, and not doing so hot. I wanted to um, reach out because I saw my videos, and and it wasn't fair that I hadn't uploaded any video, and I had had done a new video, um, however. I deleted it only because I just didn't feel it. Um, I have a question for anyone who, who actually is going through things, you know, especially with everything that's going on. Um, how do you feel about the vaccination? I mean, I have questions about it and yeah I talked to my doctor my doctor is like um, he he has it you know he gone through it and he's, he's doing good he recommends it um, however I'm a little hesitant to do it yet um, I'm just concerned I guess a lot of people are concerned um, so, if anybody has any, you know, suggestions or, I know my anxiety is kind of a bit up <laughs> when it comes to thinking about it. Um, I know that um, the Jovi injection has somewhat helped. I mean, it's a 60-40 right now as far as my pain level. Um, but... It hasn't taken away completely, of course, you know. 
um, I still go out there and I wear my mask, you know, um, wash my hands, you know, um, use a lot of precautions only because you don't know and the virus isn't gone, you know, it's still out there. Um, there are trying times, you know, that we live in. Um, my pain level today, I would say, is above a 10. And uh, it's hard. Another question I have is, how do you deal with your family, friends, loved ones, you know? Um, because it's tough, it's tough. And sometimes you wanna, you know, be by yourself. Sometimes you just wanna do things on your own because you don't wanna hear any noise, you don't wanna deal with anything. And sometimes it's really hard to explain to them that, you know, certain noises can hurt more um you know today i woke up thinking that my skull was about to break in half <laughs> of course it wasn't gonna happen but that's how it feels um my daughter is having issues with her head as well and i think it's more i don't know if it's migraines that are happening that are more intense for her um so she just had uh, three um wisdom teeth removed so hopefully that will alleviate some of her pain so we are keeping an eye on her for that um, and uh, I only have one wisdom tooth uh, remaining in my back uh, hers were not impacted which were good um, so the surgery was really quickly uh, it was quick so that was a good thing not like mine mines are impacted so it's a whole deal <laughs> it's it's a whole situation it's just nightmare <laughs> I have to be knocked out how's that um, other than that I mean you know um, yes as you can tell you know otherwise I'd scare you guys <laughs> I would have like you know uh, my hair was like at a few inches higher but it hurts to have it. <laughs> um, my road to losing weight again is happening. <laughs> um, which is a good thing. Um, and uh, I question myself, you know, like, do I want to look like, I don't know. <laughs> I look nice. That's all I'm going to say. Try to make people smile, try to make people laugh, because what's the point of making people cry, right? Or cringe. Um, so, um, I'm still playing The Sims 4, um, trying to distract myself from the pain. Um, I'm still trying to write, uh, trying to paint, trying to sketch as much as I can, but sometimes I don't have the energy. and or the will to do it only because I just just don't you know it's almost trying to call me how rude while I'm recording how dare they of course I ignore them this is an important time for me so anyway um, I'm meditating a lot more, um, trying different methods. Um, there's a few things on Netflix that I've recently came across uh, due to my wife. Um, and uh, very interesting. Um, it's all about the headspace and I don't know how I feel about that. I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that because I don't know how it is about regarding, um, you know, putting it in pause. For me, it's not about putting it in pause. You can't put pain in pause, you know. Um, so we'll see about that. 
um, as far as everything else is concerned, I think that life has a lot of um, things that come at you and all I can say, and I've said it to my daughter and I've said it to my wife, my best friend, you have to just take a deep breath and allow yourself to flow with it because when you don't, that's when chaos happens. That's when everything just falls on you and especially with an illness like we have, it doesn't help when chaos happens because that's when everything falls apart and that's when we don't know what else to do with it. Um, like right now, you know, if I would have, you know, um, panicked on things that I needed to do, I wouldn't have centered myself and be able to do the, the things that I did one by one um, or sat here and, and done this video. After this video, I have to make a phone call, you know, and so, you know, these things, they all take precedent, you know, they take, um, like, I have a calendar that I have the appointments that I have to make, right, and so these appointments, they have precedent over them, and, and I have to make sure that they are set, um, because otherwise, you know, I, I don't remember them, you know, and they're important, so it's, this is life. This is life in and uh, with an illness that doesn't have a cure. You know, it. it there's no. Uh, well, in a year from now, you're going to be better. You don't know that. You know, nobody knows that. The doctor doesn't know that. I don't know that. You know, and so therefore, we take slow steps, right, to make ourselves feel better. You know, like I have my cup of coffee. I play my games or I watch movies or I listen to classical music or, you know, I take a nap or whatever it is, you know, to feel better. So, you know, that's the whole point on doing this video so that people understand um, that, you know, you do these things slowly and so therefore you take advantage of that. So with that said, I do hope that you have a good day gentle with yourselves and I hope to hear from you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.